I knew from the moment we met there was something different. We both know it wasn't until our fourth date that we were sure we should be together, but still, I knew there was something to listen to. Now, two years later, I stand here and get to read you my vows, all because I listened. Baby, before I met you, I never thought I would meet someone who I'd love unconditionally and one day marry. I know from our first date, we did not know we had just met our forever, but after our fourth date to this day, <laughs> we knew we had something special. We had many ups and downs, but my love for you has only gotten stronger. We are gathered today in the presence of God and these witnesses to bless the joining together of Jennifer Gray and Hudson Harris in holy marriage. Jen and I met on Katy Trail and uh, it was a very impromptu and very like abnormal interaction, uh, specifically because neither one of us really tend to reach out to strangers in public places. I just remember our first four dates and then after that, we were Melbourne. together at that point. Like we weren't officially yeah. together, but I think that we were like, no, we're a couple, like we're together. And then it's moments. Yeah. Not days. Yeah. Yeah, moments became how we established memories after that. We both think with our heads a lot more quickly than we think with our hearts. I think both of us do that. And so the reason that's important is because once we established that we loved each other, we had said it, we understood the same time that we felt it, we kind of knew marriage was on the table, and at this point it was a logistical question. It was not a question of if. Life with you is comfortable, but it's still exciting all at the same time, and it's nice knowing that you're going to come home and I get to hug you and I know that you're going to love me and it just makes me grateful that we're together and we get to spend a lifetime together. No, I love how kind she is and I love how she thinks of me in the small things. I love that she listens. I love that she cares about things. I know you meet a lot of people that don't care about small things and I feel like you care about a lot of small things. The emotions and feelings of this special day will often be very strong, but there will be the days when they are not as strong. And on those days, you must choose to love. Love is patient and kind. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. that I've known you for about 20 years now, man. I've seen you go through a lot of changes. You've grown as a person. I've seen you come out of your shell in a big way. And I just want to talk about our last talk that we had in the car. He was trying to really pump me up about the idea of falling in love. 
and the changes that it will do to you and the man that you have to be to have a strong relationship. And it brought him to tears talking about how much he wanted to do for this girl. And I know I haven't known her that long, but anybody that can move my brother that much, I have so much respect for her. Each day with you, even the days with challenges, shows me how right I was to listen to that inner voice. I vow to you today to be the best wife and partner I can be. I promise to grow old together and to make our life as fun and full of laughter as physically possible. I vow to love you and admire you. I vow to hold you when you need comfort. I vow to be your husband until we are no more. I am forever yours. My wife, my love, I love you. I promise to support you in reaching all of your hopes and dreams. You are my everything that I didn't know I could dream of. I will love you today, tomorrow, and forever. In the name of God, I, Hudson, take you, Jennifer, to be my wife. Take you, Jennifer, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish all the days of my life. To love and to cherish all the days of my life. Until we are parted by death. Until we... <laughs> Ooh, that's hard one. <laughs> Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God, I, Jennifer. Take you, Hudson, to be my husband. Take you, Hudson, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health to love and to cherish all the days of my life. To love and to cherish all of the days of my life. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Anyone that traveled, thank you so much. It, it's not a small feat to travel just to see two people tell they love each other and then go home. So that's fantastic for you all to be here. But we love each and every one of you. We're thankful for each and every one of you in our lives. Um, if you're close to the dance floor, we're banking on you to dance tonight. person way more than I ever have seen him before and I'm gonna love him even more for it. Thank you for making him the man that he always wanted to be. To change us. As Hudson and Jennifer have consented together to this marriage and have made their vows before God, I now pronounce you as husband and wife. May those who God has joined let no one separate. Let me kiss you right.